Hello friends, welcome to our new video. I am Vivek and in this video I am going to show you how to create custom field for your product in Shopify using the custom code. So let's get started. To begin with, let's outline what we are going to cover in this video. First, I will be showing you how to add a custom text field for the product in Shopify using the liquid code. Now next, in the second point, I will show you how to display a custom field to your selected product in the Shopify by using some kind of condition. Next, we will verify that the value of this custom field is shown in the order as well as in the checkout page. Now, in the fourth point, which is the last point, we will cover how we can show this the value of custom text field in the packaging slip of the Shopify. So let's get started. So first let's start with the first point which is adding a custom text field in the product. So we will be creating a custom code for the same. So to do that go to the online store here click on these button and edit code before edit code i'll i'll recommend you to duplicate the theme so that in case if you want the reward the change you can simply do that so first duplicate the theme so now uh, the duplicate theme is created let's go to our current theme and click on here click on the edit code so as you have previously seen we have we are using the dawn theme which is the latest version of 12.0.0 and here in the dawn theme uh, we will first search for the file buy buttons here you you can find it from here now here search for the file name buy buttons so this file contains the logic of the form which is going to submit it in the product page. Now here let's search for the form text. So here you can see that our form is getting started. Here we will add a code for the custom text. Just let me paste here the code for the same. So here we have added a line property with the name of custom text and we along with that we have added an input for the custom text ID and with the name properties as custom text. Also in the forms we have given the product underscore form underscore ID variable value which is the value of this main form. So if once we save it we will see that this particular custom text property is being shown to all the products of the Shopify. So let's go to our Shopify store. And let's open a product. So here you can see that an additional field with the name custom text is getting appeared. Now we can we can uh, change this position of custom text anywhere between this form this location. So we just have to move this value from here. So as you can see that the position of custom text is changed to the came to the bottom of the this form section below the buy it now button. Also you can put any CSS condition in the liquid code 
to change the style of this custom text field. Now load, let's go back to our liquid code. So for now I'm putting it just at the beginning of the form, which is here, which is here and saving it. So this is how we can add a custom text field in our product page of the Shopify. Now let's move on to our second point, adding a condition by which we can show it only to the selected products in the Shopify. So right now you can see that this particular custom text field appears on each and every product of the Shopify. So here also it is being shown. And if we go to the here product page also, so it is being shown here is as well. But there may, might be a condition that where you want to show it only on the selected product. Now let's implement the same using the product meta field. So to implement this condition, what we will be doing, we will be creating a product meta field with the name of custom text and based on the value of this custom text meta field, we will either hide it or display it in the liquid code. So let's first go to the custom data and create a product meta field. Add definition here I have written the description I'll be selecting type it is integer with a minimum value of zero and maximum value of one here minimum here zero value signifies that this particular custom text field should not appear and if the value finds it one then we will be showing this custom text field in our product page so let's save it now let's go back to our product list and uh, Let's select the product on which we want to display this custom text field. I'll be selecting the t-shirt product. So here you can see at the bottom uh, this custom text meta field getting appeared and we will be setting its value to 1 and saving it. Now let's go back to our Shopify. Uh, liquid code uh, we were, where we will be adding a condition to check this custom text field so to do that simply go to our online store added code here buy button liquid here you can see under the form we have added this property now here we will be adding an if condition to hide it for the products which have a meta field value of uh, 0 and for the products which have a meta field value of uh, custom text 1 we will be showing it so here is the if condition let's close this if condition Okay, so we have checked for the meta field value custom text is equals to is equals to one. If it's true, then we will show this custom meta, custom text field in the product view. So let's save it and go to our store. So on the t-shirt product earlier, we set the value to one. So it will it should make the appear custom text here. And let's check out if any other product have this custom text field or not so as you can see for the other products this custom text field is not visible it is visible only for the t-shirt product so this is how we can add the condition to hide or show this custom text 
now let's on the moving on which is third point let's see how this custom text fields value being saved in your checkout page as well as in your order detail page so i have added it this is a test value to this custom text box and adding to the cart so here you can see that this custom text this is a test getting appeared here and once i go to the cart it is being appeared here also great so this is done till now now let's check out and uh, make this order so as you can see in the checkout page also this custom text field appears uh, below this the name of product and let's put uh, let's place a test order to see how this uh, how this field value appears in the de order detail page of the shopify so this is how we have uh, let so order is placed let's go back to our shopify admin and see the order details so this is the order list let me refresh it and this is the order that we placed so here you can see that the custom text field appears in the daughter in the order details also so great so now till now we have covered the three points where first we checked how to add the custom text field using the liquid code then second we added a condition to show it or hide it as per the meta field value and third we have verified that the custom text field is appearing in the checkout page as well as on the order detail page now let's move on to the next point which is showing this value of custom text on the packing slips so sometimes it is important for us to access this custom text and this and just paste it in the packet slip also of the shopify so to do that we have to add it the template of the packing slip so click on the settings go to shipping and delivery here you can you can see there's a packing clips and click on the add template so here this is the template of the packing slips provided by the shopify if you want to know more about how to add a packing slip template you can check out our other tutorial where we have given a detailed methods or process how to edit this template i have also mentioned the link in the description now let's get back to our topic and edit this packaging slip to show our custom text field value okay so just get back uh, just scroll down to a section where the item name is being shown we will be adding our custom text field just below the name of item so here you can see that here is the line item title and here we will add the value of custom text field that we added uh, just i am pasting here the code for showing the value of custom text field so here you can see that uh, line item properties we are going through each and every line item property and uh, based on the property first name and last name we will be putting value here here last uh, represents the value of that property name and the first represent the name of property in our case custom text is the name of property and the val last is the value that being added in the order while placing the order so let's save it and go back to our order order detail page and click on the packaging slip to see that this field getting appear so here we are at the order detail page click on the more actions yep click on the print packaging slips So here you can see that this custom text 
field is being shown here which is with the value this is test so we are done with this tutorial so in this tutorial we saw how we can add a custom field in our product page of the shopify and then access it in the packaging template to display its value as well as we verified it how is it being shown in the checkout as well as in the order detail page so that's all for the video i hope you like the video and find it informative if you like the video kindly give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel also if you need more details or have any doubts uh, please feel free to write in the comments i will be very happy to answer them see you in the next video until then keep making progress in your shopify journey thank you